I'm Selen Kiazm, chef and owner of Oklover in Shoreditch. I cook food inspired by my Turkish Cypriot heritage. For me, I just have learned so much about food from everywhere. I can't help but kind of bring that even into the cooking that we do here at Oklover. So some things are very traditional Turkish food, but a lot of it is really about just a nod to that part of the world, whether that be Cyprus or Turkey or further afield in the Levant region, you know, that's that's where all the inspiration comes from. I'm going to make a baharat spiced and halloumi toasty. Um, I really love this dish um, because one, I love halloumi, but I think that kind of runs through my veins being from Cyprus heritage. Um, and the, using the baharat spice, uh, we're going to flavour the butter and spread that on the inside. And that's going to bring a really lovely uh, perfume um, to, the, to the buttery toasty. And if that wasn't enough, we're also going to finish it off with a bit of tahini drizzled with pomegranate uh, molasses. And that's going to be a really nice little unctuous dip on the side. First thing we're going to do is take our halloumi and just, um, I like to give it a little rinse first. Um, I like to do this mainly because my mum always does it. <laughs> I have great memories of my grandmother always milking her goats to then make um, fresh halloumi and eating it fresh while it's still a little bit warm is something that's like just absolutely incredible. Um, so <laughs> once we've dried it off, we'll just, um, just grate the halloumi on the large side of the grater and you can find the full recipe in the description below. So, halloumi cheese is a national cheese of Cyprus. Uh, most people I think know and love it as being cut into slices and pan fried with that crispy crust and maybe served with a drizzle of honey or something, which is amazing. Um, but it's also really great just kind of grated or cut into slices and um, used in sandwiches or as part of a breakfast bread or something. There's a lot more uh, levels I think to halloumi than people realize as well. Next, we're gonna um, make our flavored butter. So if your butter's not quite soft enough, a nice little tip is to just, again, just grate it, and that will just speed up the process. And then you can just add as much kind of baharat spice as you want. Baharat is really similar actually in concept to something like garam masala where every single household will have their own uh, special blend. So uh, the recipe that I use here at Oklava is based off of my grandmother's recipe and I have very <coughs> fond memories of her uh, at night time grinding away at her little spice box which was a, a signal that she would be making bread the next day. Um, and similarly, um, every morning here we make um, the bread that she used to make as well. So just want to mix that really well to incorporate it and you can already get a really delicious perfume off of that. So I've got here a nice spelt sourdough. Um, I, like, I quite like to use a sourdough for this, again, just bringing another level of flavour uh, into it, but any nice big slices of bread, whatever you kind of like is good. Generously spread the inside of our sandwich with the baharat butter make sure you go right to the edges. And we're just bringing our halloumi and pile that up. <laughs> don't, don't skimp on the cheese either, no. And then push that down. Then, just wanna take some of the plain butter, spread it all on the outside. Now, of course, if you've got a Toasty maker, nice and simple. You can just put it in there. Um, today I'm going to be from the restaurant. We don't have a toasty maker, so I'm going to um, just cook it on the plancha here. You could also do it in a frying pan. Just make sure it obviously fits nicely. So I'm just going to turn it upside down while I butter the other side onto some baking parchment, just so it doesn't stick or get anything from the plancha. It. Just make sure we get all the cheese in there. And that's the assembly of our sandwich done. We'll just place another bit of parchment on top. So I'm just going to take this over to cook it on the plancher now. Just literally just place that on, put a little pressure on there. And then I'm just going to use one of our heavy cast iron pans, sit it on top, just so it really compacts together. And you start to get a lovely crust. It took me a while to realize actually how influential 
you know, being surrounded by the cooking of my grandparents and the fact that they're farmers, essentially. And, you know, my grandparents used to um, grow all of their fruit and vegetables, not only just for them for themselves, they had the most incredible backyard you've ever seen with all sorts of fruit trees and their own vegetables and herbs that you pick straight for the salad. And it was really incredible to be kind of consumed by that all of the time. And thinking back to it now, I, I still draw so much inspiration from it. This has been on for a couple of minutes now. So I'm just literally gonna flip over the whole, whole thing with the parchment. And you can see that we're getting a lovely crust on there. And just paste the pan back on top. So we get a lovely crust on the other side too. The halloumi is really lovely in this, but um, feta cheese would also be really great. Uh, something like salty and briny is kind of a, as a replacement if you wanted that. I think we're almost there. See, we've got a really beautiful crust on there. Just come to plate up now. And you can see that's exactly why we want to put lots of cheese in there. Just literally going to whack it in half. So this would be really lovely um, on its own. It's a great breakfast or brunch dish. But what I like to do is also finish it off with a bit of tahini and pomegranate molasses. So in Turkey, Breakfast is a huge thing and brunch is even bigger. Weekend brunches will go on for hours on end and the table is just full of all sorts of goodness. Uh, lots of baked pastries and lots of lovely breads and things. Um, and one of my favorite things is also that they bring out tahini on a plate and then they drizzle over a type of molasses. In this instance, we're gonna use pomegranate. So it's just really delicious because the tahini itself is really rich and kind of nutty. Um, and then the, the molasses adds a nice sharpness to it. Float on the top a little bit like that. With everything being so rich and buttery, the pomegranate molasses is gonna bring a really lovely sharpness. That's our baharat spiced and halloumi toasty. I have to say, I can't resist a lovely buttery toasty, so I'm just gonna dive straight in. It's actually really good. So, you know. <laughs>